making today is no-bake oatmeal cookies. I'm really excited about this because it's not baking, so this is gonna be nice, quick, and easy, and you know what, it's gonna be scrumptious when you're done, and you're gonna love it. All right, so a couple ingredients we need. We need oatmeal, so it's about three cups of oatmeal, um, a half cup of milk, one stick of butter, which equals a half cup of butter. You're going to need a half a cup of peanut butter, natural, if you want. Um, a teaspoon of vanilla, two cups of sugar, um, four tablespoons of cocoa powder, and that's it. Now you just need your saucepan. I'm gonna use a pot instead because so, it's bigger for me. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. Our first four ingredients we're gonna use is butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that first. Drop that right into there. So next ingredients are two cups of sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this out. That's a big one. That's one cup. Here's the second one. You know what, if you like this recipe so much and you're really wanting something that's going to be healthy for you as well, you might want to change your sugar up instead of just using regular sugar. Use Stevia or Splenda or Truvia. Those would be healthy sugars to use as a substitute. Okay, after that, um, we are going to go ahead and put in half a cup of milk. So right now I'm using half a cup of milk. Great. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this over to this, to our oven, or our tabletop. This is kinda like the baking part. <laughs> we're just gonna stir this around a little bit, let this heat up, and then we're gonna add our rest of our ingredients into this. All right, now as I'm stirring, I just wanna go ahead and add um, one more ingredient before we add a lot more later on. It's our cocoa powder. So I'm using Hershey's dark chocolate cocoa powder and that's four tablespoons. So, just gonna throw it in there. Mmm, cocoa powder. Reminds me of hot chocolate. Okay, great. Now we're just gonna keep stirring. Um, this is really gonna get this nice chocolatey phase. And then after that, I'm gonna rest to add the rest of our ingredients. And this is just literally it. This is all, this is all you need to do. You just need your oven, you need a little saucepan or a pot. Just to stir your ingredients in, you just need to have your ingredients and then plop them on a cookie sheet and then you're all ready to go. That's pretty much it. Literally no baking. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, look how dark that is. That is like black. And while you're stirring, you're gonna notice that it's gonna be, it's gonna thicken up just a little bit. Um, you can tell in the way of, of how you're stirring, you can tell it's kind of getting a little heavier. So that's good. If it thicks up, that's great. Just keep stirring and your butter is going to slowly melt. Okay, and then this is going to be at a boil for about a minute. Okay, that should be good. Now it's ready to boil and we're all ready to put in our, or the rest of our ingredients in. And just set our spoon aside. 
Put that on the side. Um, the next ingredients you want is three cups of oatmeal, so I have that ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and first add my delicious peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna scoop this out. This is about, let's see, half a cup of peanut butter. So I'm actually going to scoop this out with a spoon. Oh yeah. I mean, I could just eat it like this. I love peanut butter. I literally eat it every day. <laughs> like literally every day. There we go. Look at that, perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and over here and plop that right in. That is about a half a cup. Just be careful when you plop it in. You don't wanna be like, boosh, and then it'll go all over your face and burn yourself. That would not be good. So you just wanna be careful. There we go, perfect. So I'm gonna stir that a little bit to that for that to get melted down. Wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and add our next ingredients. The oatmeal. This is the heart of the recipe. So that's two cups right there. I'm gonna add one more. Okay, this is the stirring process. And you're gonna notice it's gonna change drastically. That's good, because this is starting to form into your cookie. Great. Oh my gosh, I can smell that peanut butter. It's really overpowering everything. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, and my final ingredient is going to be the vanilla, which is a nice finishing touch. And that is just one tablespoon. Just to give it a nice little hinting baking flavor. You know how I usually put vanilla in cookies, so definitely has to go in there. Mm, perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my stove, stir it around just a little bit longer. Now, if you use milk chocolate, it's not gonna be this dark, but. All right, great. I'm gonna switch my spoons. I'm gonna go over. Um, you would, you can either use wax paper or tin foil like I did. And I'm just gonna drop the cookies on here and um, let it cool, and then it should be ready to go and ready to eat. Big cookies. <laughs> this is also great for just giving away for your friends or having them at a birthday or anything. Or just, you know, don't have to really worry about baking. And you can easily wake up in the morning, wait, uh, make this, and then get ready while it's cooling and then package them away. How neat is that? Here we go. All right, that's it. Now all we have to do now is just wait it out and uh, they're gonna be ready to be eaten. Just only in about 25 minutes, they're probably gonna be nice and cooled and ready for you to enjoy. We waited 25 minutes for our no-bake chocolate oatmeal cookies. Let's see how these turn out. Perfect. Oh, they smell really good. Look how dark these babies are too. These are gonna be wonderful with, for just milk. Served with milk. I made very big cookies, as you can tell. I'm just gonna serve them on a plate. See what they look like. Here we go. Our no-bake chocolate oatmeal cookies. Hope you enjoy.